Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be talking to you about maintaining silver hair or how I like to maintain my silver hair and my attempts to keep it in a relatively good condition. I recently got my hair put back to silver, um, the itch was just too much, I needed I wanted it back. My silver hair isn't, you know, the purest of silvers yet, purely because um, there's still a little bit of warmth and banding around the middle bit, which actually makes me keeping my silver hair a lot tougher than if I had a really white base, which is obviously the ideal way to have silver hair. So generally, if you want silver hair, your hair's gonna have to be really, really, really light blonde. Um, white blonde is the preferred, basically like a blank canvas. White is a blank canvas and you can paint any color onto white. So white, lightest blonde is ideal. Mine's a very light blonde um, with a hint of warmth to it, which you can still see. But the reason why it's harder to upkeep this is because every time I wash my hair, that warmth becomes way more stronger and you can see it and it kind of takes away that silver aspect to the hair. So I'm just gonna be talking to you about what I would do on, when I wash my hair, um, and when, just to keep obviously the color in and um, the, the nice strength to my hair. So I would typically wash my hair about twice a week, no more than two times. It's kind of recommended that if you have got like bleached or damaged hair that you don't wash your hair that much. So what I'm about to show you, it does take a while, like this process, so this is something that you would do typically on an evening when you've got some time or on a day off. Some of the steps you don't have to put in there, but this is generally what I do. So the first step is using some Olaplex. Now the Olaplex was used on my hair when it was being bleached. The Olaplex was put in the bleach or whatever and it was used during the bleaching process, um, but not this type. It was the salon type, um, which was a slightly different formula, I think. Olaplex is basically a groundbreaking, revolutionary hair uh, thing. And what it does is it coats the hair, um, say for example when we're bleaching it, it coats the hair and protects it from excessive damage. It's like a shield, I'd say. This stuff is a, like, a bunch of chemicals that put in your hair that strengthens the hair. So it says use once a week between chemical services to strengthen hair. There's a lot of science behind this product. I don't really know it because I'm not a scientist, but I know that it is insane in the membrane. I've been using it and I've been definitely been noticing a dis difference. So what I do with the Olaplex is first of all I will wet my hair over the shower and then I will get as much water out as I can, maybe even use a towel. It's preferred that you use it on towel dry hair but um, I just try and get it as like less damp as possible. Then I will take a reasonable size amount and put it in my hand and then just put it all through the damp hair. I will then use my Tangle Teaser for wet hair which is like a big hairbrush, almost like a paddle brush, and just comb it through my hair. And then I'll tie it up and leave it on for 20 minutes. Um, you could do whatever you want in 20 minutes. You go make a cup of tea, go watch some telly, write some more to your novel that you might be writing, write a blog post. I am just gonna just sit on the sofa probably and um, sit there. Okay, so after the 20 minutes are up, um, I'm going to wash it out of my hair. I'm not actually using a silver shampoo at the moment because of the next step afterwards, which I'll get to in a moment. I have been using the Coco Loco by Lee Stafford, and it's basically shampoo and conditioner with coconut oil in, and everybody raves about how good coconut oil is for you. So I've been using this one on my hair just to obviously get some moisture back in there. Coconut oil is just supposed to be like a legendary product of the planet. So that's got it in here, and I thought I would use it on my hair, and I really like it. So I just put it through, I leave the conditioner in for a few minutes, and then I'll rinse it out. And then, then what I'll do is I'll get out of the shower, put my hair up in a turban, boop, 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 and then I will towel dry it, because um, I want it quite, again, I want it damp. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the Rue Rinse. The reason why I said that this process obviously takes longer is you've got the 20 minutes from the Olaplex, and then the Rue Rinse. Now, this is essentially like putting dye in your hair again. Rue Rinse is a wash-in, wash-out rinse. Um, so it adds colour, it adds pigment, but it washes out straight away. I do this every time I wash my hair, so if I was to wash this and not put this in, my hair would be a yellowy blonde. And you could say to me, well then why don't you use silver shampoos? This is just such an intense grey silver. I love it so much that I just think, meh, I'm just going to use it every time I wash my hair. So what you do is you then put this through your hair. I've been using Matthew's old builder gloves. They are clean, it's just I don't have any disposable gloves, so I've been using these builders gloves um, 
I put it through my hair and then again I'm going to use the Tangle Teaser comb and comb it through my hair and that's it. You don't rinse it out, you just leave it in. It basically makes your hair all wet again and then you just blow dry it. If you're a UK resident, this can be quite difficult to get hold of. Um, I know Amazon sells it but it can be quite expensive on Amazon. I actually went to Sally's and found a different branded version of it called Indola and I got it in the colour anthracite and I'm not I'm not I think this, this is pretty good I do prefer this product but this is pretty good as well um, the reason why I like this one is I think the base on it is more black than it is than this one this one's a purple base and that's the other reason why I don't really use silver shampoos is sometimes I find with silver shampoos depending on the brand they can have a build up of purple and I don't want a silvery purple I want a grey silver. So before I blow dry the hair, I use um, my Liz Earl Botanical Shine Nourishing Hair Oil and this is basically a hair oil that I put through the ends of my hair and sort of up here and it's got a heat protector in it but basically it's just a smoothing out oil. It feels amazing, it smells amazing and it's just so so good. So I use that and then I blow dry my hair and once the hair is lovely and dry um, I, like, I like to style it so I always like to go for a kind of a wave thing. If I've got extensions in again I'll still have a wave. I'm not really the biggest fan of poker straight hair but I generally like to wave it. If I've got time I will wave it. Before I wave the hair and the heat protector I've been using at the moment which is totally cool is this hot and big um, studio line from L'Oreal Paris. That is my little silver hair, grey hair, maintenance video. I, I done this video a few years ago, back on vintage Helen Melon Lady um, YouTube land. I'll link it just so you can see it and compare. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope that that was relatively helpful. Um, if you've got any questions, I'll try to answer them in the comments. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.